The newest Alienware was just announced and brings tons of new technology to the laptop brand that I have been using as my editing machine for travel for the past few years. This right here is the brand new Alienware M17 R5, which brings upgrades to the performance and visual graphics thanks to a partnership with AMD. Now, I do wanna say a huge thank you to Alienware and AMD for sponsoring and teaming up with me on this video and for sending over this new laptop for review. This is the first all AMD Alienware system and it is the world's most powerful 17 inch AMD Advantage gaming laptop, and the companies were able to do that by focusing on several key features. Now, if you are looking for a gaming machine, or if you are like me, you're looking for an editing machine if you're a creator, like a content creator, this one packs in 175 watts of dedicated graphics power and couples this with top-end AMD components, including an AMD Ryzen 6000 series CPU, AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics, graphics, and the new AMD Smart Technologies. AMD's Radeon RX graphics series unleashes their AMD Smart Technologies. Now this adds some really cool abilities to your laptop. So for example, you wouldn't have to restart your machine if you want to do any graphic switching because of AMD Smart Access graphics. That will switch from the APU, which is the accelerated processing unit, over to the GPU and vice versa. That allows for improved graphics performance and processing. Then you have Smart Shift Max, which can shift power between the Radeon GPU and the Ryzen CPU, depending on where you need to prioritize performance in real time. So for example, if I am editing one of my videos, it will shift to the CPU. If I'm gaming, it will shift to the GPU, all dynamically. Similar for the GDDR6 graphics memory, with smart access memory, the gaming performance can be increased by giving the Ryzen CPU full access to the Radeon memory if a game supports pass-through. That also means your load times in games is going to improve as well. Now, I know you're already familiar with FreeSync, so AMD FreeSync Premium is also built in, and this offers up really beautiful gameplay, like you get low latency, you get smooth, tear-free, fast movements in your video games, all of which is done by syncing the display refresh rate with the Radeon graphics frame rate. And lastly, in terms of all those fun AMD features, you will also find the AMD Adrenaline software, which is an all-in-one place to get drivers, your software, software information and gaming statistics. There are plenty of options for memory and storage as well. For example, you could really spec out this build with 64 gigs of dual channel DDR5 4800 megahertz RAM, and you can get as much as four terabytes of PCIe, NVMe, and dot two storage. It also packs in Bluetooth 5.2 and you get Wi-Fi 6 for networking. I would argue that it's pretty thin at a peak of 1.05 inches, with that 17.3 inch display, and there's a max weight of 7.3 pounds. Do y'all remember Cryotech? I've talked about it before on the channel. So Alienware's Cryotech cooling technology is something I've talked about before because I've been really, really happy with how cool my Alienware laptops are, especially if I'm doing something like I set it on my lap while I'm wearing shorts and I'm sitting on my couch watching Netflix. It's something that I often do while I'm doing some minor edits to my videos, and my machine never gets really hot. So the M17 R5 has a dual intake quad exhaust design. So cool air is pulled in from the top and the bottom vents, and then it's pushed out via the vents on the sides and the rear. So compared to the previous model, this one gets a 6% airflow increase, 26% more fan blades, and the graphics vapor chamber is their largest one yet based on the Radeon RX 6850 MXT models. Now each of those fans can also be controlled independently as well with Alienware's smart fan tech. So overall, you are looking at a high-end machine that starts at 1949 with a variety of models to choose from. Now, of course, there are multiple models to choose from for the display as well as those internals. So if you want to, you could choose 120 Hertz, 165 Hertz, or a 360 Hertz panel, 
all of which have the Comfort View Plus tech built in for low blue light filtering. Okay, so you know all of the specs now. I want to talk about my experience. This one that I've been using is an AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX and the AMD Radeon RX 6850M XT with 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage. So I am running Windows 11 on this review unit and it's super fun to use. I downloaded my usual Adobe Premiere Pro for editing, along with some games to see how loud the fans would get, and also to test that heat dissipation. In my totally unscientific experience, I found that the fans stayed pretty quiet throughout my gaming and editing. I was very surprised. I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn on here. I just started a new game. It's so much fun. I love that game. If you haven't played it, you definitely should. I've also been testing out Resident Evil Village, which is super scary. <laughs> and with both of those, the visuals look amazing. Now, since I was running some tests on here, I was able to get a really good look at all the visuals. This one specifically is the UHD 3840 by 2160 resolution display. It's 120 Hertz. Gameplay is beautiful, especially something like Horizon Zero Dawn with all that beautiful sunlight and the nature graphics. Like it just looks so pretty. Resident Evil Village looks very crisp very nice darks and very excellent shadows still creeps me out and i always jump playing this game so bear with me <laughs> while i was editing videos for my youtube channel i noticed that the colors are very accurate to my camera settings which is wonderful when it comes down to graphics editing you need a really good color gamut you need very accurate settings and i gotta say this display is beautiful you can see this display clearly no matter what your viewing angle is and the matte finish does help with any kind of reflection issues. I really like how thin the bezels are around the edges. And I was very impressed with the really large footprint that you get whenever you open the lid for the first time. It's a gorgeous 17 inch, really large display. The lid on here does feel really sturdy. It feels really durable no matter where you put it. It doesn't flex around a lot. It doesn't wiggle. I felt like it's a very, very nice design. You can also open it to a really wide angle if you feel like tilting it that way. Now Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos are also included as well and they look and sound excellent with this laptop. Can we talk about the keyboard? because it's one of my favorite parts. I love the keyboard on this thing. It is so much fun to use. Now, I am a huge fan of mechanical keyboards of the classic desktop fashion. I've bought them so many times. I always buy Cherry MX. And this is the first time I've been able to test a Cherry MX switch on a laptop and it feels so nice. So this one in particular has the ultra low profile Cherry MX switches built in and they have a key travel 1.8 millimeters and those support about 15 million actuations per key. They don't wobble around whenever you press on them, no matter where on the key you press it down. There's no visual flex to the keyboard, so it looks and feels very, very strong. And the layout is identical to my current Alienware laptop, so my muscle memory adapted to this one just fine. I love that you get the backlit RGB lighting via Alien FX and the different LED levels of brightness. That's perfect for nighttime gaming or script writing sessions, which is something I do all the time because I never stop working. The palm rests have a multi-touch gesture touchpad in the middle, which is quite large and has tons of real estate. And I love that. That makes my life easier when it comes to doing photography editing. Whenever I'm working in Photoshop, I've noticed that I need a lot of real estate for a touchpad or a mouse. And in this case, I do have that. Do you want to hear what the keyboard sounds like? Because I want to do a test. Let's do a clickety clackety test, shall we? me who really appreciates the mechanics that go into those really nice switches because I love that feeling. It just feels so nice to use. Now there is an HD webcam with Windows Hello face recognition at the top. There are intake vents at the top of the keyboard along with the power button. On the left side is an RJ45 Ethernet port and a headset jack. Now I did do some speed tests and I easily got over 800 megs down and 500 up, which is totally in line with my 
my expectations for my network, which is fiber to the door. Both left and right sides have matching ventilation and stereo speakers, and the right side has a couple of USB type A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one of which has PowerShare. The back has your exhaust vents, USB type C, which supports DisplayPort 1.4 and power delivery. There's another type A 3.2 Gen 1 port. There's also HDMI 2.1, I love that. And the power DC in. Now, if you saw my previous Alienware review, this one also has that really unique customizable lighting. And it also has that hexagonal venting. Where's that power supply? Let me show you the power supply. Here's the power supply. It's smaller and I feel like it's lighter too than the previous generation, but this one is still 240 watts, which yay, I am so excited that we are starting to see smaller and lighter, but more efficient power supplies. That means my backpack won't weigh as much. The battery inside the laptop is an 87 watt hour and Alienware's testing showed it is capable of 14 hours, 21 minutes of HD video playback based on a build that includes the AMD Ryzen 7 6800H and a Radeon RX 6700M with a full HD 165 Hertz display. So how does that compare to my own testing? Well, I took this thing off the charger and I did tons of editing and gaming. Now, mind you, this one does have have those fully upgraded specs and components and I was working really hard to get that battery to die. If you are doing less graphics intensive work, you will see different results. This entire build is really consistent. It feels really reliable and it does feel like a premium device to use. You can tell how intelligent the laptop is right out of the box thanks to those AMD smart technologies. It's really cool to see how efficient it can be even when I'm doing heavy 4K editing, which I do almost every single day, and having a long gaming session, and it still feels excellent. I was surprised that the fans weren't louder, and I was surprised that it did not run hot. It is literally a cool laptop, and I am happy to see that it performs as well as I would expect from an Alienware machine. And I do have high expectations when it comes to gaming laptops. For me, gaming laptops are investment pieces. They are things that I want to last for several years, and I have to use it for work, so I have to have a dependable machine, and I get that feeling out of this laptop. I would love to see your questions below if you have any. Thank you so much for watching. Now it's time for me to get back into some video games because it is the end of my workday.